Storytime at Home, presented by the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. Hi, I'm Miss Bridget from the Westwood Branch Library, and I'm here to read you a story about the moon today. The book we're reading is called Max and the Tagalong Moon by Floyd Cooper. One night, as Max was leaving Grandpa's house, he reached up to give Grandpa a big goodbye hug. In the sky behind Grandpa appeared a big, fine moon. Look, Grandpa, the moon! Oh, that old moon will always shine for you on and on. Grandpa and Max gazed quietly at the big moon together as it embraced them in soft yellow light. Do you see the moon before bedtime? Max smiled at the moon and Grandpa, then climbed into the car. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, moon. As the car pulled away, Max kept his eyes on Grandpa until he disappeared from sight, and all he saw was the moon. Max kept his eyes on that moon, waiting for it to disappear too. Do you think the moon's going to disappear? Let's see. The long ride home was swervy curvy, this way and that, all the way, and the moon seemed to tag along. There it is. Max giggled as he watched the beautiful bright orb flicker through the passing trees, trailing behind the car as it traveled home, this way and that, playing peekaboo. Up and hill and down a hill, the moon was ever there. Over a bridge, around a curve, the moon bounced along. Oh my goodness, are they going to lose the moon? Around a tree, past a field of sleeping cows, the moon stayed quietly with Max. Through a small town with a roundabout streets, Max gazed as the moon kept up. It's still with him. At the mouth of a tunnel and out the other end, Max smiled when he saw the moon was there waiting. Dark clouds tumbled across the night sky. The stars and nightingales all faded away. Uh-oh, where'd the moon go? Max searched the darkness and wondered, where is the moon? Grandpa said it would always shine for me. Finally home, Max took one last look up at the empty night sky. I guess that old moon couldn't shine for me all the way home. Oh no. Upstairs in bed, the room was dark. Max felt alone. He missed Grandpa. He missed that tag-along moon. Then slowly, very slowly, Max's bedroom began to fill with a soft yellow glow. The clouds faded away and the moon peeked through. Did it come back for him? Max gazed up at that magic ball of light and thought about what Grandpa had said. That old moon will always shine for me. On and on. Max knew then that whenever he saw the moon, he would think of Grandpa on and on. And he slept soundly embraced in soft yellow light. That's the end. Don't you love the moon? So we are going to sing a song about going to the moon. So we're gonna take our wiggly fingers and we're gonna use them to make a rocket ship like this. Can you do this with me? Very good. All right, here's how the song goes. Ready? We go zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. 
Zoom, zoom, zoom. We are going to the moon. Now we're gonna climb. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We are going to the moon. And blast off in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Awesome job! Well, thank you so much for reading with me today and have a great day. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library.org to find out more.